Welcome to episode 16 of Vampire Survivors like game in Unity, essential scene. So today we want to introduce multiple levels into the game. To do this we want to introduce a concept of separating essential elements into separate scene and loading level as its own entity. Let's say you want to make a new level, but for this level to function you will have to have all of those elements placed on every scene. Imagine making 10 levels, imagine making a small change somewhere in those objects, you will have to update those objects in each and every stage. In each level scene you will have to repeat the same setup which add more possibility of mistake. One of the way to deal with this problem is to prefab those objects and work with prefabs. While an ok solution, in my opinion best solution to this problem is to create a sub scene called essential, which will hold all the essential elements in it and separate the level part into its own scenes. Click new scene, select empty and check this checkbox load additively. Save the scene as essential. Good. Now we want to separate all the essential logic for our game into essential scene. This will break some stuff. It will break enemies manager and world manager because we cannot uh, reference objects between different scenes directly in the editor. We have reference to the player character transform on the game manager, so get and store the reference to the player object using the game manager reference. Because we don't need to reference the object in the editor anymore, remove the serialized field attribute. If we launch the game now, we will see that game will work exactly the same as before. But we now have the essential scene and gameplay stage separated into two sub scenes. Working together, one work as a well, container for all the essential gameplay logic and one work as a visual representation of the level. This episode is brought to you by generous support of people on Patreon and members on YouTube. If you want to join them, link to my Patreon in the description. And join button available right now on YouTube. If you join at $10 or more, you will get access to project files on Patreon. Good. Now let's go back to the menu. If we launch the game right now and press start game, it will break the game, because it will only launch the gameplay stage. But we want to launch both gameplay and essential scene. Set the essential as a build scene and move it like this. It will be important later on. A Greg from the future would actually it's not going to be important. I'm sorry. Let's rename the buttons to state clearly what this button is doing. Good. We need to open the start game 
and specify that the gameplay stage will be loaded additively. While essential scene will be loaded as a single scene. When you load this scene as a single, the Unity will unload all the scenes is, which is currently loaded from the memory and load a new scene which will be a single scene. And then you can add more sub scenes to the single scene using an additive load of the scene. Let's test this. Great. Now let's demonstrate how this system can shine with game we are making. Let's say we want to introduce a new level. Let's rename our first stage scene into stage 1. Then let's duplicate it. Now we have two identical scenes. For demonstration purposes, let's say second level is the same level, but under full moon. So make it reddish color, because in all vampire media, full moon is red moon. Good. Back to main menu. For now, let's make a second button called start button 2. Open start game and let's add stage name as a parameter. So we will be able to specify what stage do we want to play in the event call and use it for additive load. In the editor, on click, choose start gameplay. And in the parameter, pass the name of the stage you want to load. Make absolutely sure your name is typed exactly like the name of the stage. Good. Add the second stage into build. Let's test this. Good. As you can see, we have a second stage, and with little work, you can add more and more stages by making those scenes and modifying their functionality and presentation. In the next episode, we will implement actual stage and character selection interface. If you have any questions or any ideas about code, please leave your comment below. Please subscribe for more episodes. You can find my Patreon in the description. Special thank you to Andrew Vilong, the old Hajdu. Harry Passe and Dominic Makiocha for their generous support. With best regards, see you in the next episode.